Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about limitations on scaling. In the previous video, I have explained you about scaling models and scaling factors, where we have studied the scaling of different different parameters like gate gate area, energy dissipation, power dissipation, time delay, frequency, and so on. But there should be some limitation on some parameters because we cannot scale each each and every parameter beyond its limit. Suppose, for example, take a mass transistor. This mass transistor is having two n plus regions and p substrate two n plus regions. When an n type material diffused into this p type material, some depletion layer is formed. Here also a depletion layer is created. Now between these two, we are calling this distance as length of the channel. Length of the channel. What we are doing in the scaling factors, we are reducing the size of this length. That means we are reducing the length by alpha. So L by alpha is the scaling factor for this length L. Now, when we are reducing the value like this, like this, what happens? Definitely there will be a reduced length between these two so that the depletion regions will be coming closer to each other okay when the depletion regions are coming closer to each other there will be no formation of the channel because channel has to be created and the current has to be flown so that should be done if if there is a minimum required gap between these two okay this is definitely the limitation for the length of the channel similarly not only length several parameters are uh, having the problems related to this limitation so we need to limit the particular value of a parameter at a certain value okay uh, now let us see what are the different uh, scaling uh, limitations on the scaling uh, in this video on the limitations on scaling concept you are going to see three different concepts one is substrate doping so limitation on this is substrate doping and the second one is limits of miniaturization limits of miniaturization and third one is limits of interconnect and contact resistance okay so these are the three limitations we are going to discuss in this video first one is limits in sub threshold sorry substrate doping and limits of miniaturization limits of interconnect and contract resistance miniaturization is nothing but reducing the size now coming to the first one substrate doping substrate doping substrate doping is indicated by n b substrate doping is indicated by n b so now in the previous scaling factors we have not considered this n b so far okay we have seen different scaling factors but among those different how many scaling factors we have seen around 14 scaling factors we have seen in all those 14 scaling factors we have not had come across this substrate doping Okay, definitely we have to discuss about this substrate doping when you are going for the scaling, scaling factors. What do you mean by substrate doping? When you are taking a mass transistor, you are taking a substrate. Suppose if it is an N mass transistor, you are taking a P type substrate and diffusing two N regions into this. Okay, so you are seeing this as a P type substrate because of this doping concentration NB. 
okay so how many impurities you are adding to make it as a p-type substrate or how many impurities you are adding to make it as the pure semiconductor as a impure semiconductor like n-type semiconductor so that is decided by the nb nb is nothing but concentration of elect uh, atoms that are being added to this particular semiconductor to make it as either p-type or n-type okay that means you can say nd or na and the donor concentration and the acceptor concentration okay depending upon the type of the material we are using this doping concentration either uh, holes or electrons so generally we call it as nb okay so now let us see how this uh, nb affects the depletion region depletion region so let us see how depletion region is affected by this nb okay so now depletion region d is given by d is equal to 2 epsilon silicon epsilon naught v divided by u into nb under root Q into NB. We know each and everyone here D refers to depletion region as I said earlier and epsilon silicon is nothing but relative permittivity. Relative, relative permittivity. Relative permittivity and it is here we are writing this epsilon is for silicon so that is approximately equal to 12 and epsilon naught is nothing but free space. free space permittivity that we know 8.85 into 10 power minus 14 Faraday per centimeter next Q is nothing but charge of the electron charge of electron and V is nothing but applied voltage applied voltage <coughs> applied voltage across the junction so that is we can write it as VA plus VB applied voltage V is written as VA plus VB so VA is nothing but AC applied voltage and VB is the DC voltage applied between the substrate and the source suppose this is the source terminal and here we have gate terminal here we have drain terminal okay now in order to body bias this transistor body bias is nothing but setting the threshold voltage on our required basis okay for that we are using some built-in potential between the source and the substrate generally when you are operating with the substrate terminal substrate terminal is generally shorted towards the source source and substrate are short circuited that means we are giving no potential to the substrate but if you want to give any su substrate potential built-in potential to set the threshold voltage that vb should be applied between source and substrate so that a positive terminal is toward towards the source negative terminal towards the substrate okay that voltage is known as built-in potential vb built-in potential vb vb is known as built-in potential vb is known as built-in potential so now this vb how we can express this vb and how this vb is related to the nb we will see now where VB is equal to KT by Q LN NB ND divided by NI square. Okay, so VB nothing but built in potential which is expressed as KT by Q, which is a constant KT by Q 
ln of n b and d by n square n a is nothing but intensity concentration and n b we know what is that substrate doping and n d is nothing but donor concentration <coughs> Okay, suppose if you are saying a 5 micrometer technology that VB is in the region of around 500 millivolts. Generally, VB is very small. Generally, VB is very small per 5 micrometer technology. For 5 micrometer technology, this VB is around approximately 500 millivolts. That means 0.5 volts approximately. Of course, for this 0.5 volts, we have no need to consider. So, generally, we will neglect VB in depletion. region D okay because of this lesser value we are neglecting the D uh, we are neglecting this uh, built-in potential VB in the depletion region D then what about the D D is equal to what we have taken 2 is silic epsilon silicon epsilon naught E V is nothing but VA plus VB now we are neglecting VB so only VA left divided by Q into NB Q into NB Suppose, suppose now take the scaling factors of all these, take the scaling factors of all these and provided we don't know NB scaling, okay. Uh, D is scaled by, D is scaled by, what do you mean by D? D is nothing but thickness of the depletion region, thickness of the depletion region. Suppose an N-type diffused into the P-type substrate. It is having some depletion region. This is indicated by D. The thickness of this depletion region is indicated by D. So, this D is scaled by 1 by alpha or beta, thickness of the depletion region, thickness of the oxide that is beta. Now, thickness of the depletion region is 1 by alpha and epsilon silicon, epsilon insulator, Q, all these three parameters are constants, no scaling factors and voltage VA. Voltage VA is scaled by VA is scaled by voltage are scaled by beta 1 by beta and NB now we need to calculate what is the scaling factor for NB now substitute all these here it is 1 by alpha and it is 1 by beta here so 1 by alpha square because the root comes on to the left hand side as 1 by alpha square and this alpha square will go here it is 1 by beta and we will come here so alpha square by beta therefore scaling factor scaling factor for nb is alpha square by beta see here Alpha square by beta means which value is greater? We know alpha value is greater than beta. Alpha value is greater than beta. So when you are taking this relation NB, you are reducing or increasing? NB you are increasing. NB you are increasing. Okay, indirectly you are increasing but you are saying that we are thinking that we are reducing the NB value. We are reducing the NB value because of its uh, scaling factor. Okay, NB increases. Okay, if NB increases, what about the depletion region? Depletion region decreases. Depletion region decreases. Okay. Suppose, take this NB into this equation VB. If NB increases, what about the VB? Listen clearly, here NB is the scaling factor, we are taking the value, scaling factor value as alpha square by beta. This is substrate doping is having a scaling factor alpha square by beta. As we have discussed in the previous video scaling factors when introduction of this alpha and beta, alpha is quite far than beta. 
according to this relation what about this scaling factor of nb are we reducing or increasing we are increasing we are increasing the nb of course that is fine but when we are increasing the doping concentration nb what about the vb vb also increases because nb and vb both are in proportional to each other so as nb increases vb also increases so vb if vb increases the, in this relation of this repletion region ba and vb both are additive and will be uh, proportional to this d but what we have considered we are neglecting the vb because of its lesser value but as the concentration of this nb increases vb also increases here again this va we cannot neglect vb so uh, further so vb will be added into this equation and again depletion region increases <coughs> are you understanding see nb increases if you are taking this relation directly into the depletion region depletion region decreases because of this relation d this relation d is equal to 2 epsilon a, a va by q n b as n b increases d decreases that is fine this is fine but n b increases this causes the v b to also increase this causes the d again decrease sorry d increases this causes d also increases this is a wrong information so definitely there will be a limit on this n b there should be a limit on this n b this is what we have to discuss so therefore the limitation on doping concentration substrate doping nb is kept below 1.3 into 10 power 19 centimeter cube centimeter minus 3 okay so a uh, of course nb is the doping concentration that is used to create a beta parent type material of the substrate but definitely there should be a, some limitation on the adding of impurities that is should be that should be less than 1.3 into 10 power uh, 10 power 19 per centimeter cube How, that many atoms need to be added in that area okay this is what the limitation on the substrate doping this is this limitation on the substrate doping indirectly affects the depletion region so that the depletion region should be in control and it will not be more okay so in the next video we will continue the remaining two uh, scaling factors thank you